Hello and welcome to episode two of Is It Lit or A Little Bit Shit? And in this episode, I'm going to be reviewing the audience growth tactics of five social enterprises. Um, You may be wondering what a social enterprise is. A social enterprise is a business that has um, a business model where they do some good in the world. So most of them um, have a structure where they make a profit, um, but then they put a percentage of that profit back into the local community or the wider community or the wider world. Um, And it's a subject close to my heart because I'm intending on at some point in the near future, hopefully this year, um, on expanding my business model to incorporate a social enterprise business model. Um, So it's uh, something which I want to learn more about and which I'm looking into a lot more. Um, So I thought, why not look at how um, they are, um, or five of the the biggest um, social enterprises out there, um, how they are looking at um, growing their audience. Now, I've done a blog post uh, which goes alongside this video um, all about audience growth tactics, not just for social enterprises, um, but for other businesses as well. So if you want to check that out, that will help um, you figure out how to do this. Um, And we're going to dive right in now. We're going to start with Social Enterprise UK and why not? They are Um, one of the bigger companies in the UK which help people um, to set up as a social enterprise. Um, You can see they've got celebs involved and they do all sorts of things including a directory and all that kind of stuff. So but what we're interested in today is how they allow people to keep in touch with them and uh, grow their audience um, by um, providing ways for the audience to keep in touch but also how to gather Um, audience emails essentially so when you go onto the main website you can see straight away they've got social media links right at the top there brilliant start Um, I mean some people worry about putting social media links on their website because people will move away but I think when it comes to social enterprises social media is a huge part of it because obviously they want people to be involved they want to make connections so directing people to social media not a problem (coughs) You'll also see here on the top, you've got, you'll also see here on the top, you've got stay in touch. So let's click through, let's see where that takes us and what what that takes us through to. Right, and you've got sign up to Social Enterprise UK communications to keep up to date with the social enterprise sector. We will use the information you need to provide to stay in touch with you. And different things you can choose. It's a bit dry, that is, if I'm honest. They could be offering something a bit more interesting, I think, there. I mean, somebody like me that's already interested would probably want to sign up to that. But, um, you know, they could make this a bit more exciting. Uh, It's a little bit on the dry side. Um, So what else have they got for us to do? If we go back to the home page, we can see. Got join us, obviously, if you're not ready to join. You want to do something else, which is stay in touch there. Um, it might have been better to have sign up to a newsletter or sign up to something so people can see what it is. I mean, they've got a ton of menus here about us, join us, what we do, who we work with, local work, all this stuff here. When you scroll down past that huge slider, who we are, read more, introduction videos, directory, that looks like the blog together with the future of business. I completely agree with that sentiment. About membership, partner with us, latest news, press releases, a lot of information on the homepage. And you've just got this stay in touch here again and then the social media links at the bottom. Um, so not a huge amount of encouragement to, to, to stay in touch. And honestly, this slide is irritating me a little bit because it's going very quick (laughs) and it's making the page reload every time. And there's a huge jump um, because the images are different sizes, I think. Um, So, yeah, not a huge amount for us to do, um, but certainly an interesting site, which I'm going to be revisiting at some point um, in the near future. Um, So the second site we're going to look at, and you'll know this company, is The Big Issue. Now, when I first went on this website, 
There was a huge pop-up here, which had the same sentiment as this um, bar at the bottom. Join the self-help revolution, sign up to our newsletter today. Absolutely brilliant to have that there. There you can see all email addresses coming up there. Um, absolutely brilliant to have that there. It's encouraging people to sign up straight away, which is great. And you can dismiss it. Um, I, I, I got that back from moving to a different page. Uh, you can subscribe here, contact us, social media links at the bottom, which I think is better than having them right at the top of the page. People can find them if they need them, but they're not encouraging people to leave the website. They're trying to get people to stay on the website. So if we scroll down, there's another get the big issue in your inbox sign up there and some more social media signups. No um, uh, push notifications or anything on this site that I can see. It didn't come up when I first went on the website, but I was really impressed. And I'm, I can't get it back now because they've obviously limit how many times they show that pop up to people, which is great because you don't want to make it irritating. Um, but they've registered by IP address and it's not letting me get that um pop up anywhere I've scoured through the site so if you want to see it for yourself visit bigissue.com and you'll see it there um so there's a slider here as well which is really slick all the images are the same size which is really good um blog posts as you'd expect on a magazine site very much a magazine site um and then there's some adverts and more, 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 more. Read our latest issue. And that's it. But really good because it's encouraging you with that pop-up that comes up at the bottom. Let's see if it comes up anywhere else. If I click on latest about no. But that's good, you know, because they're not they're not shoving it in your face. They know if you click an X, it means you don't want it. So number three, social school. Sorry, I'll start that again. School for Social Entrepreneurs. Entrepreneurs, <laughs> entrepreneurs, which is um, a Birmingham Midlands-based uh, website. Um, I believe the whole company is based in the Midlands. Let's have a look. The School for Social Entrepreneurs. Together we change lives. Find a course to help you develop your charity or social enterprise. And this is who I hope that I'm going to be able to develop my social enterprise with. They're a brilliant company that I've worked with some friends of mine. They offer all sorts of things. So how do they let us keep in touch? Home courses about blog resources meet our students. Social media links over here and email. Is there a sign up anywhere? Have we got a sign up? I can't find a sign up anywhere. Not great. Oh, newsletter. Right at the bottom in the bottom corner. Have we got this at the top? We haven't got it at the top. Let's click on newsletter and see what we get. Okay, so this has, it looks like this has sent us out to their um, email management. Yeah, so this is a, a, a MailChimp sign-up page, which is great, you know, newsletter, which is a, a little bit dry again, but you'd expect that with the, um, a, the kind of company um, who is working with businesses in this way. Interested in social enterprise, email address. I mean, I, I would say offer some kind of return for the email, um, more information in, in a, a, a simple PDF form, a single sheet, infographic style thing um, might, you know, encourage more people to sign up. And definitely we need more to get people to sign up from the homepage. Because it's it's down here, right at the bottom. Um, let's click through and find a cause and just see if there's anything else on that page because that's where they're trying to get people to go, you can tell. Uh, and then the sites come down to a box format for the courses. Presumably because it's a third-party platform. I could be wrong about that. Uh, and then we've got get our newsletter. So there is another sign up there. Did I miss that on the home page? Let's have another look. No. So it'd be good to have that on the home page as well. Right. Fourth. 
Fair Trade Foundation. Now, I have tried to see if the Fair Trade Foundation is actually a social enterprise. Oh, it's a registered charity, but we're going to stick with it anyway. Um, because I think they've got a fantastic website, Fair Trade Foundation, 11 Essential Fair Trade Tees. Uh, I don't know what that is there for. Let me reload the page because I've had this open. Read more. There's the button. I missed that. That's a bit small. So what have we got? We've got lots of menus about fair trade. Contact us, Media Centre, School Shop for Trade, Resources like we Donate. What would you like to see? It's a big website, this is, and they're trying to help people as best as they can. What can I do? Let's see, because... Ah, I see. So this is the blog post is, is split into their different topics. That's really nice. Join a local group. That's, a, you know, good to have. Is that on the big picture? What is fair trade? I'm not seeing any way for me to keep in touch other than donate, join a group, sign up to a newsletter. At the bottom here, social media, connect with us, sign up. Let's keep in touch. We'd love to keep in touch. Would you like to receive our newsletter? And some, again, I want a bit more here. Why should I keep in touch? What are you going to give me? What are you going to tell me? Is there something you can give me immediately to, to, you know, that I can get in my inbox and go, great, I've got that and I can learn about this or I need more guys, more. No push notifications on this one. And can't see anything else. So again, newsletter doesn't seem to be a priority. You've got contact details down here. Okay, toilet paper. <laughs> so this company, Who Gives a Crap, I've just started using. I've had a first box. They make 100% recycled toilet paper, and they also donate 50% of all their profits to um, organisations that build toilets for people who need them um, because evidently bad sanitation causes disease and all sorts of problems for people. So um, that's the reason I'm using. Plus they have this gorgeous... Um, uh, packaging and um, have all this on top of my cisterns now whereas I used to hide it away um, but I think they're lovely this we've have gone for the premium um, because my other half wanted to try the top quality uh, so we've gone with that for now so let's see how they're letting us keep in touch shop our impact about us blog help not much at the top delivered to your door order now so all about getting you to order which is obviously going to be the way. The site in general is lovely. Good for the world, good for people, good for your bum. I like this, cheeky, cheeky. Money back, 100% guarantee, 100% money back guarantee. That's great. Okay, mailing list. At the bottom here. That's fine. Sign up to get the latest on sales, new releases and more. It's not making me want to sign up, really. I mean, because I'm a customer, I get it anyway. If I wasn't, I don't think I would, because why? Um, and then you've got the social media buttons there. That's it, really. Oh, now this here, get £5. I've just spotted that. Let's click on that and see what this is. Help us grow. Impact. Get, give £5. Get £5. The more people we're able to reach the more toilets are able to build give friends five pounds off the first one you'll get five pounds off your next order when they make a purchase we call that good friend comma i've shared this in my newsletter actually because um this week because they've sent this to me um and of course you know i want to encourage people to sign up plus it's nice to get a fiver off uh so this is only for people that have already signed up now they could use this in the mailing list somehow you know um encouraging people if they sign up to the newsletter or sign up to the mailing list they get five pound off the first order or something like that um but they haven't they've just got this little sign up here so that's a little bit disappointing let's have a look at the blog because sometimes there's more sign up things on the blog talking crap love it from who gives a crap that's really good good craps good deeds good fun good news i like this blog 
eco-friendly gifts because I love this brilliant this is so me and so great I'd, I like to more than two up there though our favorite posts um lots of relevant news from the day and follow us on instagram but no sign up on here at all as far as i can see let's click on a post and see if there's a sign up on the post so that's got video nice there's a shop featured posts Related posts, Instagram again, no sign up. We've got the social media bits here. But, it, you know, that's great. And I expect their social content's really good because their blog is. So social content's really good. And maybe they know that their ideal client is all about social media. You can tell I really wanted this one to, to have everything that I, I mentioned in the blog post, which was um, sign-ups, which isn't just sign up to the newsletter I wanted it to be a freebie or getting something in return social links great that's everywhere and then push notifications which are new and not that many companies are using it um at the moment but you know it's something that um none of these five have got um and I was expecting at least one so that is my review for this week is it lit or a little bit shit I think they were all pretty good nothing shit I mean a, a, a bit of dryness in some of the newsletter signups um but perhaps that was to be expected with what I was looking at with social enterprises um so yeah now don't forget to subscribe to the channel um and I'll see you next time for another is it lit <laughs>